Good morning everyone. I'm going to be checking the battery to see if it's good in this vehicle and then of course I'm going to take it to the uh, advanced auto I think is the closest one here and see uh, what their tester says and I also need to replace the windshield wiper blades. Here's a meter, stand by. Alright, I'm currently in Florida and this vehicle we drove uh, to visit my niece for Christmas last uh, week, yesterday, last week. All right, here we have a, uh, right here, it says P35017. This is a Harbor Freight DMM. Uh, works fine. You don't need the world's greatest one. Usually having good probes helps. We have the plus side, which I'm going to connect here. The minus side on the other side of the battery, I'm connecting here, and we're getting a whopping 12.48 volts. The fully charged one basically is at 4.6. Uh, so let me start the vehicle and see if it charges. But right now we have a 12.45. I'm going to start the vehicle. I did check the oil as I always do. Here we go. As you can see, it is in beautiful shape. You can see a 4.87 volts. I'm going to let it run for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Basically, at 14.5, which is the alternator is working fine. Now I'm going to go turn it off. Oh, and the hood is open. All right. I turn this off. Hose is warm, and you can see the battery has jumped down to 2.46. So it doesn't, it should be up at 2.7. I think 2.6 is 95% uh, good. Uh, so this is down, I think, in the 70% uh, percent range. So she definitely needs a new battery, but we're going to go get that tested to see what they say at the, I think, AutoZone. All right, let me stop recording. Okay, I was going to show you this crept back up to 2.7 uh, uh, volts, but once I turned on the headlights, we're down at 12 volts. So let me uh, turn off the headlights, close the door. Going to Auto. Closing the door. And now we're back up to 12.2. So her, her battery is, is, is dead. Okay, so, all right, I don't think I'm gonna ask AutoZone for if it's good or not. Maybe I will, but it's obvious that there's an issue. Well, this is gonna be quite uneventful ending to this I uh, went to AutoZone where I bought the original battery a nice guy named David B changed it for me he also gave me new windshield wipers on the front well gave me I paid for them obviously put them on and then something for the rear of the vehicle the windshield wiper back there 
So anyway, I'm pretty much uh, set. So there's nothing I had to do. And she has 118, 289 on the mileage. And look at what that's doing to the camera. That's cool. Anyway, and I uh, filled up her vehicle. So she's all set. Okay, I'm back. I'm not going to show you how to change the battery because they did it there for me. I'm going to retest it again. But he took off this bracket and this bracket to replace the battery. Plus, down below, there's a clamp. That's why I took this off, right down here where my center finger is. There's a clamp. I used an angle when I did. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. But anyway, let me uh, do a check of the... Uh, the battery level real quick. Stand by. Okay, I uh, drove this back from the uh, Auto Zone. A nice guy named David B. installed it. This is a uh, 12.64, a brand new battery. It, it's charged. 12.7 uh, would be 100%. 12.6 is basically 98%, call it 100%. I'm going to start the vehicle and see uh, where the voltage sits. But before I do that, I'm going to turn on the headlights. Okay, you can hear it making sounds. You can see the battery's down to 12.27 uh, volts, so it's, it's higher by two or three tenths of a volt. Going to start this. Stand by. Tell it did crank much faster. Here we have full charge going on. Alright, and so let me uh, turn this off. The light. The lights are now on auto. You can see it at 14.8. So there you go. Let me uh, disconnect this. Set this back down and move this, and we are fixed. Thanks for watching.